Our world is still feeling the full brunt of COVID-19, a pandemic that most likely had its origins in wildlife. We all know that this pandemic is having a devastating impact on travel and tourism, but COVID-19 is not a one-off. Scientists tell us that there are hundreds of thousands of other viruses in wild animals that could spill over to humans. They also tell us that a million species are at risk of extinction and we're struggling to combat climate change. An illegal wildlife trade is exacerbating each of these global challenges. And COVID-19 has reminded us, albeit in a devastating way, just how much well-managed tourism benefits wildlife conservation. Wildlife tourism with sustainability at its core has a central role to play in our recovery from this pandemic, including for saving the world's wildlife, wild places, and for generating decent local jobs. Back in 2017, it was my pleasure to join the World Travel and Tourism Council's Global Summit in Bangkok and to draw attention to the scale, nature and consequences of illegal wildlife trade and how the sector could help end it. In less than 12 months, the travel and tourism sector recognised its role through the Buenos Aires Declaration Against Illegal Wildlife Trade, which has now attracted over 100 signatories. And COVID-19 has given this declaration added meaning and momentum. It's fantastic that the travel and tourism sector has joined the global fight against illegal wildlife trade, recognising how it can both protect wildlife at its source and help curb demand. But what's even better is that it didn't stop with the declaration. Despite the disruption of COVID-19, the World Travel and Tourism Council has worked with signatories to implement its terms, and is now issuing practical implementation guidance through its Preventing Illegal Wildlife Trade Guidelines. Colleagues, success in ending wildlife crime and protecting wild places demands a collective endeavour at every level and across every sector. We all have our role to play as corporates, consumers, investors, travellers and citizens. And if we get it right, we can generate decent local jobs, prevent future pandemics, save biodiversity, combat climate change and ensure that the benefits of a country's wildlife flow to local communities, legitimate investors and the agencies of source states and not to transnational organised criminals. Let me thank you again for joining the fight against illegal wildlife trade and, most importantly, for following through on your commitments. Thank you.